Good, Good morning, morning, Eagles. I'm Anna. And I'm Carly. From, from Eagle, Eagle News 7th, 7th Hour. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Carly, we have some staff members that people may not know. Really? I hope we get to learn more. Then you're in luck because Carly and I interviewed a teacher. We're here with Miss Cook. Mrs. Cook has been subbing for Mrs. Reichert for the past three months. Hello. <laughs> um, what's your favorite part of teaching? Um, my favorite part of teaching is getting to know the kids and um, just kind of learning to develop some relationships with them and just getting to know them really well. And it's been great because I had a lot of these kids last year um, when Mrs. Reed had her baby. So I feel like I've gotten to know a lot of them quite well. What did you want to be when you were growing up? Um, I wanted to <laughs> run in the Olympics is what I wanted to do when I was younger. So I ran distance and I just wanted to be an athlete when I grew up and um, they didn't really have like pro sports for women back then and so like or playing pro basketball I always thought that would have been kind of cool but they didn't even have it yet when I was in high school and college so probably that. What's your favorite part of teaching? Um, just getting to know the kids. I think that's a favorite part. And once you've been in a building long enough and have been doing this so long, I really get to know the kids. And I think that's the best part is, is watching you guys grow and getting to know you the most. And I think that's fun. Yep. Is there anything that you wish you would have known as, your, as a first year teacher? Um, boy. Yeah, I think um, for me, even until the last couple of years, um, feeling responsible if a kid's not doing well in class, I always um, feel really responsible for that. And so I have to learn, and I've learned it's taken a long time, to that kids have to be able to take charge of their own lives. And if they choose not to do the work or choose not to turn it in, that's not my fault and I shouldn't stress over that as much as I do. Yeah. So that was the, would be the lesson. If you could choose to do anything for a day, what would you pick? Hmm. Boy. Um, I think I would pick um, going to Hawaii and seeing the volcanoes that are active, the active volcanoes over there, and like um, watching them at night go into the water and just kind of doing all that cool stuff. I find volcanoes very fascinating. I'm so glad I know more about Miss Cook now. Me too. Do big words ever confuse you? Yes, all the time. Well, you're in luck. Mackenzie is about to teach you all about yes. a new word. Hello, Eagles. I'm Mackenzie here to tell you all about the word of the week. The word of the week this week is malaise. The word malaise means a general feeling of discomfort, illness, or uneasiness whose exact cause is difficult to identify. There are many different causes of malaise, such as injury, disease, trauma, or just any time your body is disrupted. Mental health conditions such as depression and anxiety are able to lead to malaise. The word malaise actually originated from Latin, meaning bad, badly, ill, poor, or wrong. Some physical responses to malaise are medication, physical therapy, or even sometimes surgery. Malaise is very serious, and if you think you might have been dealing with it, talk to a doctor. Usually, if malaise lasts over a week, seven days, it's very serious. Seek help. Well, that's all I have about malaise today. Have a great day, Eagles. Back to you, anchors. I should definitely add some new words to my vocabulary. Me too. Do you know Eddie the Eagle? Yeah, but I don't know that much about him. Perfect, because Brooke Mackenzie interviewed him. Hello, I'm Mackenzie. And today I'm here with Eddie the Eagle. Yay! I am Eddie the Eagle. Would you like some tea, love? Eh, no thanks, Eddie. Okay. Oh, so anyways, how old are you? The 
ripe young age of eight, love. <laughs> so interesting, Eddie. Anyways, where did you grow up? On a beachside in California. <laughs> Very nice, Eddie. Do you have any children? Yes, I have six, actually. Okay, what are their names? Beatrice, Douglas, your mom, Sussy Baca, Fruity, and Eddie Jr. Um, okay, very interesting. Well, what's your favorite snack, Eddie? Termites, actually. Um, <laughs> delicious? <laughs> Anyways, what kinds of pets do you have, Eddie? I have a mouse named Jeremy and a tarantula named Jeremiah. Do you often get them confused? I do. I often call my tarantula Jeremy and he bites me. Sounds kind of swag to be H. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for today. Back to you, anchors. I'm glad I watched that. Now I know about Eddie. Yeah, I didn't know that stuff about him. Why is the world so terrible? There are good things, you know. Really? Like what? Well, Anna and Mackenzie came up with an entire story all about good things happening in our building. I need some good news. An 11-year-old girl in Florida saved a puppy from a burning building. That is great news. Well, we have more. Let's go ask some of our school student and staff to see if they have good news. Tell me something good. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Tell me something good. Chick-fil-A. Tell me something good. Uh, well, I know I have my friends and I really enjoy having those since I was very nervous of going into middle school when it started. But now that I know I have many friends and of course my dog, I am very happy about it. Thank you. Tell me something good. Candy. Thank you. Whatever you're ready. I'm Anna and I'm here with Okay. Okay, tell me something good. I made a basket for my life. That's cool. Tell me something good. I have a lot of good friends. Thank you. Tell me something good. Um, probably when I got my dogs. Thank you. Hey, I love uh, something good would be doing TikToks with sixth graders. That is a lot of fun. That's a lot. That's that's good. Sounds fun. Good. Being hip, okay. Tell me something good. Peace and love. Seeing all of you kids every day. TikToks with sixth graders. Rock and roll. Okay. Okay, I'm Anna, and I'm here with Brittany. Okay. okay, tell me something good. Um, making TikToks with teachers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm Anna, and I'm here with Landon. Okay, Landon, tell me something good. I got a new girlfriend today. No, no. <laughs> tell me something good. Miss Cook. That was some good news. Yeah, I'm so glad to see so much positivity going around our school. Me too. Have a great day, Eagles. Back, Back to you, anchors. I guess the world's gonna be completely terrible. Hey, do you know how to make pumpkin caramel lava cakes? No, I don't, but that sounds delicious. Well, fortunately for you, we all work together to make some. Hello, Hello Eagles. Eagles. I'm Anna. I'm Carly. And I'm Mackenzie. We have something very special planned for you all today. We're making pumpkin caramel lava you cakes. You will need three ounces of white chocolate, six tablespoons of salted butter, one fourth cup of purpose flour. <laughs> Three fourths powdered sugar, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, two large eggs, <laughs> one egg yolk, a third cup canned pumpkin, one and a half teaspoons vanilla extract, eight unwrapped caramel candies, and sea salt. Sea salt! First, preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Then, add your white chocolate and butter to a microwave safe bowl. Heat in increments of 20 seconds, stirring after every 20 seconds so it doesn't burn. Heat until melted and smooth. <laughs> Whisk and flour, sugar, and pumpkin spice until batter is smooth. Whisk in eggs, egg yolk, pumpkin, and vanilla until combined. Fill three to six ounce ramekins halfway with cake batter. Don't forget to spray it. Then add caramels to the middle of each and sprinkle sea salt on top. Spoon remaining cake batter over every cake. Bake cakes for 14 to 17 minutes and take out of the oven. They should be cooked on the outside but jiggly on the center. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> Let them cool for two minutes. Run a butter knife around the edges of each ramekin. Flip cake. Flip cakes onto a plate. Put more sea salt or powdered sugar over top. I recommend adding vanilla ice cream served warm. Now you can enjoy your lava cake. Recipe from mm. Grandbaby's Cakes. <laughs> That was so good. Yeah, it was. That's all we have today. Turn it, tune in next week for our next broadcast. Have a great day, Eagles. I'm